Gee whiz, uh, big word, isn't it, courage? I think it probably means different things to us at different times in our life. My definition of courage is really taking a risk and doing something that frightens you. I do think that courage is probably an end product of something. It's an outcome. It is about dealing with challenge and adversity in a way that enables you to retain your own integrity. To have the guts to confront my own fears and to explore new frontier in life. It's about feeling the fear. It's feeling your own vulnerability, being conscious of that and doing it anyway. When it comes to being courageous, uh, it is about, it requires something of you. As I grew up in, you know, Sichuan province in southwest China, and during the early stage of cultural revolution, my mother was denunciated at her workplace because her father was a landlord before 1949. That was seen as a bad thing. So the impact of you know, my mother's situation flowed onto me. Some kids would you know, shout down with little landlord to me and threw stones at me. So, Getting out of the house required a courage. Uh, one of the stories that I most love is, is my grandmother uh, talking about being at home and the local welfare officer coming around to, to check on Aboriginal families. She was a short woman, but she was very fiery. And when the welfare officer came around to check, she chased the welfare officer with a broom down the street. And clearly they were about checking on families, wanting, I mean, that's part of the story of Stolen Generations. Every Aboriginal family lived with that threat. And I think the thread of the story is the courage that each of them in their own different ways brought to their lives and the actions that they took. In the 70s, there was a, a woman, her name was Deborah Wardley, and she wanted to get a commercial uh, airline license, uh, and yet she continued to be rejected. I would have been 11 at the time that her case went to the High Court. And I remember even then having a sense of outrage. Deborah Wardley demonstrated such persistence above all else to fight all the way to the High Court. It certainly was one of the first decisions in Victoria where I later became commissioner. So I feel like it's inter intertwined with my history as well. I think it is something that is completely contagious. I think that I learned courage and I've watched as there were moments when I felt fear and I watched somebody else step out first. I didn't see it as courageous. It was my curiosity that got me into geology. My first job was up in Pilbara and to go up there on my own with no family connection. It did take a fair bit of courage to accept that job. I, I definitely stood out in the crowd in Newman in 1974. I was one of only three single professional women that were employed by the mining company. So I would go and get breakfast in the mess and I would walk into a room of 300 unattached men in the mess hall and that was very scary. It sometimes courage is a hindsight that you don't realise you're going to this at the time. There were two perhaps defining moments for me. The first decision was to buy chambers. Like I was 23 when I bought my chambers with no income <laughs> virtually. And uh, I think that's when I went grey. I sort of worked so hard just to pay off my mortgage on those chambers. I, that was a courageous decision. When I look back on it, I think that was a very courageous decision. The biggest test of my courage was the death of my son. He was 13 and I was uh, just over 40. It was a, a Sunday when he had stayed overnight at a friend's farm. The number of boys at that farm rode motorbikes that day. He hit a reticulation pipe, went over the pipe and um, was dead in an instant. 
I recall that day quite clearly if I'm asked about it. And apart from the disbelief, I said to my husband, uh, stop the car and we got out of the car and I just, I screamed with a voice that I've never heard. In that instant, your life as it was is changed forever. Nobody, nobody wants to go to that place. There are times in our lives when you have to find a courage that you hoped you'd never have to. I guess when we think about courage, there's all sorts of courage and physical courage I admire, but moral courage I have a real affinity with because making the right decision for the right reason is something I hold very dear in everything I do. Moral courage is a different and special kind of outcome and I think it's harder to articulate at times and sometimes it's harder to see, but we see it in the outcomes and I think that's, in this day and age, so important.